Okay, uh, I'm just going to quickly run through how I replaced my shower uh, power converter in my Apache uh, to this WFCO 8735 model. Let me take the cover off here and show you uh, kind of the, the way that I did things. And I have to give credit to the Apache forum on Facebook. Give me a lot of uh, tips uh, because this was not as cut and dry as I hoped. So um, the, uh, the old one has uh, basically uh, three ports on the back. You have your shore power, you have your outlets power, and then you have your uh, converter power, which is your 12 volt appliances. And it's a special plug this this guy here it's got three wires coming out of it um, and I had to snip it to get it to work with the new one of course um, so uh, when you buy one of these guys you'll also need to get three breakers one two and three uh, and also a set of fuses and I chose a 30 amp fuse for this I don't really know why it worked so I'm just going with that it's probably a Way to do it it's better but so these are all of your grounds this is all your neutral block and all the black wires go into your breakers uh, <clears throat> so the schematic on this thing says otherwise so that's why I'm making this video because I, I had to rely on advice from people online to get this to work correctly so your black wire for your shore power plug the shore power plug has three wires it's got a ground a neutral and a black hot wire that ground goes into the block over here your neutral goes into this block and then the black wire goes into this first breaker this controls the power going into uh, into the converter so you can flip that baby on second one uh, does the same thing uh, basically with your outlet so it's taking power in and it's passing it to the outlets so your ground and your white wire go in there and then your black wire for your outlet uh, circuit goes through here and when I flip this on, hopefully my crap will turn on. Yep, my air conditioner, my uh, uh, my refrigerator, clock radio, all kinds of stuff turning on. So my outlet power is working. The third one is for your power converter. That is going to run all your 12 volt stuff. And so um, your so that's where this wire came into play. Okay. So with this one, there's there's a there's a um, like a ponytail of wires that come out of the back of this box and it has all these different colors on them and the colors all pertain to different fuses on the front <clears throat> so I attached my blue wire here to the blue wire on the back the white wire to the white wire on the back and the black wire came up to the front and into this last fuse so this is going to power my my converter <clears throat> and when I uh, so it won't work unless you get a fuse into your if you choose blue, I chose blue because it matched my blue wire. I put a, a, a plug into the blue. Uh, you can see it's labeled by, uh, by color. That means I can expand this to, I'm assuming, other 12 volt outlets and things. <clears throat> but to get your dome lights to work and other things that might be powered by a battery, I don't have a battery, but I might in the future, uh, this is, needs to be on. And your little fan might turn on. And then lo and behold, look at him go. He's on. Um, so again, when you purchase one of these guys, or maybe $125 or $130 or so, you also need to pick up a couple of $5 breakers. So at least three, or I guess three is what I've got, so, and it's working for me. And I also have some fuses. And otherwise, things should go, uh, should go together okay. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll shut up now. Bye. Good luck.